have in front of me a 16 port PoE network switch. Um, it's a one gigabit um, PoE switch. So it'll work with uh, 10, 100 uh, meg and obviously a gigabyte here as well, okay? So let's look at, uh, it comes in this outer box here. It's available with free delivery, by the way. So let's just look at what we get here. So it comes with a three pin plug and it just hardwires directly into the back here. You can see the back connection on it. Um, it's possible to mount it on a, a 19 inch rack. So you can just see the little brackets there, which would screw onto the end section here. You see we have four holes here, the same on the far end come along. And the main part of the event here is the actual lights that would light up here and the 16 ports as well. Now there's three settings on it. There's the VLAN, setting the default setting and I think the other is the extend mode on it now that's a little bit beyond me there in terms of thing and then there's extra ports over here the mark 17 and 18 which are for a different type of connection uh, so overall we'll say um, the price point this is very attractive here POEs are becoming very very popular simply because there's loads of application but probably the most common would be on cameras things like that so what you're trying to do is two things here number one you are trying to put the data up to a gig uh, of gate speed, speed directly uh, over the network and then the second thing is that if you have a camera particularly an IP camera or something like that you're trying to power it directly off of the switch itself so um, it's much cheaper to come along and buy these units without the POE on it but then you uh, you know you obviously can't support it and obviously then with a POE one like this you don't have to need POE in it it'll simply work just as an ordinary switch if there's no requirement for the POE nature on it so that's it anyway an overview of the 16 port POE uh, one gig uh, network switch